ducks and geese, as common a sight in our local ponds and lakes as the water itself. Watching and interacting with these birds can be enjoyable, but did you know that many waterfowl in Texas are considered non-native and do not receive protections that native species do? Distinguishing between these types is important when it comes to understanding how waterfowl are managed. Due to its location and importance as a migration hub, 43 species of waterfowl are recognized as native in the state of Texas. Some species of native waterfowl are ubiquitous across the state and are popular at small ponds where people live and work. Native ducks and geese are protected by state and federal law including the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, which protects most species of native and migratory birds. Except in permitted situations, it is unlawful to trap, kill, or destroy the eggs or nests of these birds. However, just because a bird is free-flying does not mean that it is considered a wild native species. Non-native species are organisms that do not occur naturally in an area, but are introduced as the result of deliberate or accidental human activities. This can include feral forms, meaning that at some point they were released from domestication. Visually, there are also clues to tell non-native and native waterfowl apart. Non-native waterfowl are often brown or white, with a little coloring sometimes mixed in, but can come in many colors and sizes. They can have unique features like pom-poms on their heads or warts on their face. Feral, domestic, and non-native species are not protected by law, and their management is subject to local ordinances, as well as the desires of the landowner or land manager. State and federal authorities have no management authority or responsibilities in protecting these non-native species. Common non-natives in Texas include domesticated mallards, barnyard geese, and Egyptian geese. One species of duck, the Muscovy duck, has some special rules regarding its status. In Hidalgo, Star, and Zapata counties, the bird is considered native. However, in the rest of the state, it is considered non-native and therefore not subject to protection by state or federal law. In some situations, it can be difficult to identify species of waterfowl as native or non-native. One of our native ducks, the mallard, has been bred for numerous traits or colors and hybridizes frequently. This leads to many of our common pond ducks being variants of domesticated mallards. To identify whether a mallard is native or non-native, you want to use behavior in addition to looks. After taking looks into consideration, ask yourself, is this bird afraid of people? Is it regularly approaching people for food? If so, that bird is probably a non-native mallard. Most wild birds become frightened and fly or escape from people when you get too close. You can use these behavioral clues to help identify other waterfowl species as well. In some cases where birds are constantly fed, even native species can lose their natural fear of people, so it is important to use all evidence when determining if a bird is native or non-native. There are many different solutions to solving issues with urban waterfowl, but identifying whether you're dealing with native or non-native species is an important first step, especially since the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department does not establish rules in how non-natives are managed. If your species of concern are non-native or domestic species, start by contacting your local government, homeowners association, or community leaders.